Die attack was unsuccessful. Pirates are using one skiff with seven POB on board. German naval vessel Spessart is attacked by armed pirates on a speedboat who've mistaken it for a cargo vessel. 2009 saw a dramatic increase in piracy incidents in and around the Horn of Africa. Several ships were held for their cargo and millions of dollars paid out for their release. By the time the pirates realize their mistake, it is too late. It is reactions like this one and an increase in patrols along the major shipping lines in the Indian Ocean by the International Navy that has seen the number of piracy incidents gradually fall over the last two years. The result? Heavy losses inflicted on the pirates. However, there are some who now believe that the pirates have decided to change tact preferring to attack so-called soft targets with minimum losses. They've obviously changed their strategy given the necessary problems uh, and the international forces on the sea. The transitional government is uh, getting into place. Al-Shabaab is no more in Mogadishu. So what are they doing? They're looking for other softer targets. Unfortunately, this has meant bringing the war deep inside Kenyan territory. In southeastern Kenya, along the Kenyan coast is the centuries-old UNESCO heritage town of Lamu, believed to be the oldest town in the country. Its simple structural form enriched by elaborate carved wooden doors, hundreds of years old, make it Kenya's most prized tourist destination. And with plans afoot to construct a port and connect it to the northern corridor, with road and rail transport, things are looking up. But there is a problem. It's proximity to what on Somalia. Barely three weeks ago, a British tourist was killed and his wife kidnapped by gunmen who fled into Somalia. And over the weekend, a French tourist was kidnapped and again taken into Somalia. Even if we have to go across and attack them, I think it's a high time for us to teach them a lesson. Because they are destroying our economy, they are destroying uh, our security. For us to have peace and for us to have uh, uh, calm in that area, 600 kilometers stretch, which is a border between Kenya and uh, Somalia, must be safeguarded. And I believe our, you know, our authorities are doing what they can. Tourism is the country's second largest foreign exchange earner after horticulture. Kenya receives about a million visitors a year, but with the United Kingdom and France both warning their citizens to stay away from an area 150 kilometers from the border with Somalia, the sector is likely to take some heavy losses. I feel very concerned about the uh, people who have been kidnapped here. Um, I feel that the local governments, the Kenyan government, needs to be doing more to protect the people of Kenya and for the international community as well to uh, step up to the mark. Yeah, my understanding is it's only a certain area not to travel in, not to not come here at all, um, and you need to take advice of where you're safe. Because of the unfortunate things that have happened, they will be more vigilant than they were before. So the authorities have taken the necessary uh, measures to ensure that everybody is sort of safe. Currently, Inflation stands at just over 17 percent, the shilling remains volatile, oil prices have hit the roof, even the growth forecast for 2011 has been revised downwards, and food prices remain high. Is the government going to do enough to shield the tourism sector from taking a heavy hit? That should not be a question. Robert Nagila, NTV.